Now, if you'll notice what I'm doing here, I'm just kind of skipping around, leaving little daubs. And pretty soon as you get a little bit closer here, you can start making it look a little more like dirt. Just simply by how you apply the pressure on your brush. See, I'm kind of just scattering that like that. That kind of creates a nice little sort of in-between uh, area before you get into the more detail here. But now we're going to start pulling up some grasses and some, a lot of sagebrush and things out there. So take your brush now, rinse it out. And we're going to pe uh, create a color that's kind of a grayish tone. Now that sagebrush color has a green in it, a little blue, a little sienna, a little purple. And come over here like this. Then you just take a little bit of this peach color you were just using and work in here. Is that kind of a grayish green that it makes there? It's a pretty nice color. Let's test this out and see if it's too dark for this area. That's, that's pretty close. Now what you want to do is to kind of turn your brush on the side, what we call the chisel edge, and you just kind of pull up like this. And what you're going to do is create some little small pockets of brush out here now. Don't go too far back with that. It'll make that appear like it's back, you know, it's the wrong value. Because if you go any further than that, you need to definitely lighten that value. So you want to kind of, now this is another area where many of you struggle. You get these in there. And you get a clump, and then a space, and a clump, and then a space, and then a clump. But I want you to notice now what I'm going to do here that's absolutely critical for this. All of these clumps, even though they don't necessarily touch each other, I have little connecting ones. See, all of these come out here. These move your eye to the next one so that you don't just bounce through the pain. Now, this is good eye flow. This is one of the best lessons I can give you on understanding composition is how when you come back in, you add repetitive objects that are, have similar shapes, always be sure that you have some sort of a connection so that your eye flows from one to the next, so that it bounces from one to the next. And that's, that's really one of the biggest issues that, that most of you struggle with is how to get your painting to flow instead of you know, bouncing through there.